Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. So the way that this works is the first five cards, the first row starting here, is your love reading. The second row is your general reading. Okay, so let's talk about this first. Love and relationships. You've got somebody that is really, um, really in love with you. I have here the Queen of Cups. This is someone, it could be a water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, if they're not the sign, sun, moon, or rising, they can be somebody who's actually very attractive, very uh, loving, very selfless, and quite spiritual as well. This is a person that comes to when, you know, um, Geminis, you always have that one person that you go to. Like when you're um, pissed off, when you're upset, when you're frustrated, you always have somebody to vent to. You, you always do. And um, you have that one person that's like the pillar of your emotional support, okay? So I feel like this might be the person. I'm also sensing there is somebody in your life, possibly a relationship partner, that is really, really, really in love with you. And um, I feel like you're on guard. I feel like you're willing to fight for this person just because they're very in love with you. But because they're so in love with you, they can be very possessive. They can overstep their boundaries at times when they're jealous, when they're upset. They can, you know, um, it's like they're so intuitive and so, they suppress a lot of emotion. So when it does come out, they can cut you with words. And I feel like some of you are a little bit wounded based on your interaction with this person. And you're staying in the relationship mainly because, you know, they love you or mainly because there are children in the picture and you don't want to dissolve that happy home situation. But the cornerstone of this is you're staying with somebody because they really, really love you. And you know in your, you know, the, the deepest reservoir of your heart, you know that they will be there through thick and thin and you know that they will be there for you no matter what. And so you're willing to fight for this, even though you feel as if the relationship itself, you feel like there's zero compatibility, okay? There might also be situations where emotionally um, you might not feel the partner anymore, but you do want to stay because of the sheer power and, and gravity of the magnitude of their love for you. Um, some of you are looking elsewhere. You're just like, do I really want to stay in this anymore? Can I look at greener pastures? Can I go elsewhere? Can I move around? Um, can I relocate? Can I just be with somebody else? And I also feel as if the weight of this relationship feels very, very intense. And I feel like for a lot of air signs, in particular you and Aquarius, for a lot of air signs, um, the heavy emotional connection, it can feel really good at the beginning because it makes you feel like you have this kindred connection with the person. But over time, it's so heavy that it's a little bit draining, okay? And I feel like you are a little bit drained. Some of you could have been together with this person for nine years. Some of you might have children together and this person might be the best, you know, caretaker when it comes to the kids' emotional needs. They could be, you know, male or female. They, they take care of the kids. But the emotional um, exchange of energy, it just feels to me to be really, really heavy. Um, I feel like you're grappling with some decisions. You know, you're keeping things to yourself. Possibly even, like, I'm sensing, honestly, midlife crisis. I have this perfectly great relationship partner, but the compatibility is not there. I want to look elsewhere. And you're examining this for the first time, it feels. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with this person. I can't leave this person, but I'm not emotionally happy. I want to see what else is there out there for me. And for some of you, it's like you're keeping all of this frustration pent up 
you're keeping all of these things in and you're not really at a point where you can admit it to yourself okay or it's almost like I have to keep this under wraps because once I share that with another person once I tell my sibling or my best friend that I'm not entirely happy there's nothing wrong with this person I'm just not entirely happy I'm not 100% content like once you tell your best friend that or your um, siblings or whoever it is your therapist once you tell them that then you kind of have to admit it to yourself and then you're forced to make some changes right and I feel like you're still not ready um, I'm sensing as well for those of you who are single there might have been this person in your past the relationship ended poorly this is kind of like a falling out you're very weary of this person and likewise the energy can flow both ways for whatever reason they um, you might have hurt them they're very weary of the connection and I feel like you're looking back on this and thinking I should not have done that or the other person should not have done that to me so there's still that sour taste in your mouth okay and uh, with this high priestess this is a card about self-awareness admitting things to ourselves revealing to other people how we feel and so I feel for some of you you're caught between two people the person from the past or you know they're with you right now and a new person the high priestess male or female this is somebody that keeps their feelings very very close to their chest with this energy I'm getting like a very strong Virgo in energy a very strong Gemini energy very strong Aquarius and also Taurus energy with this high priestess those are the 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 signs that kind of keep things a little bit bottled in okay and um, there it, it's like you're holding back your feelings they're holding back their feelings as well um, trying to make you know a, a, a new a move towards them or they're trying to make a move towards you but it seems as if you're so preoccupied with everything else you're not really seeing this connection okay so there is somebody here there is somebody here that is um, waiting for their opportunity okay and let me just see who can we expect they're waiting for you to move on before they can make an offer okay they're waiting for you to move on before they can make an offer and I also feel many of you are waiting to move on before you can approach this person with a new offer so I feel like a lot of internal conflict that's playing out for you guys and emotionally you know you're not like emotionally rattled I feel like you know what you want and you want to work at things you don't want to be seen as you know the the stereotypical flaky Gemini you want to work at things and you want to value the right people if someone loves you wholeheartedly you want to be there for them you want to nurture that relationship but it just feels to me like you're ready to move on and you're trying to you can't make this offer until this move happens and this just came to me you're interested in somebody but for whatever reason you can't make this offer until the move happens for them so they could be the one stuck in the relationship and you're waiting around for them and you can't really give them anything anything solid ask them to go on a date um, until they're free from their situation so somebody's not free um, the new person that you're dealing with okay this is somebody who's very psychic very intuitive they're very cold and distant but the nature of the high priestess is that she or he works from a higher vibration they might see you embroiled in this and they don't want to have anything to do with it they're also it's hard for them to express their emotions so unless they feel sure about you they can't really express it okay um, I feel like for many of you um, you need to free like you need to get rid of 
situations and relationships and you know this pattern before you can move on with a new person this is someone who's very very intuitive and they sense things they sense energies they sense vibration they know how you feel about them and they also might know why you're stuck okay so let's see let's move on to the general reading here um, first of all I'm getting overall it's not so much work related it's more like a spiritual uh, message for you guys you're looking to expand you're looking for more fun and more excitement in your life you're looking to travel you're looking to meet new people you're looking for some type of a change in your environment okay and then every time you try to do that some type of calamity happens that draws you back in so for example you could be in a work situation where you're the problem solver you know a lot of Gemini's are really good at troubleshooting you uh, react and think really fast on your toes you know how to talk yourself out of trouble and you also are really good at providing um, like quick insights to solve other people's problems okay so you want something new you want a more dynamic work environment you want a change of scenery every time you try to go somebody would rush in and tells you hey I have this issue and you know the nature of Gemini you guys love to feel helpful you guys are really good at helping people and you love to feel wanted and needed and 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 helped and I feel like what it's doing is that it's giving you this false sense of security yes they need you but at the same time is the work fulfilling do you need them so just make sure that things are reciprocated wherever you go in whatever situation you find yourself in because I feel like this might be work but it's also playing out in your relationship yes they love you but do you love them okay so I feel like it's time for you to kind of like not take on other people's problems or energies as your own and it's time for you to differentiate between what you want versus what other people want people are always going to love you and they're always going to need you but is this creating a pattern of codependency and is it making you happy or are you feeling a little bit stuck or are you feeling a little bit like my time has come it's, it's, it's not serving its purpose anymore so you're a really good candidate overall when it comes to your co professional life and your career you're looking for change and I feel like for many of you you're at a point where you're heavily thinking about retirement and and you know the company that you're in they might be telling you oh don't retire just yet and you feel very very tired but the fact that they tell you oh I, we really need you we really need um, you know we need someone as capable as you are and that kind of pulls you back and that kind of forces you not really forces you but you decide to put your retirement plans on the back burner because you feel wanted and needed in this situation so really think about you know why are you holding yourself back okay why are things not moving along is it because you're always spending a lot of time catering to other people can you make decisions that are a little bit more less like from the emotional neediness type of a standpoint where other people constantly need you and take charge of things take ownership of your own life make decisions that benefit you because it's tiring to constantly live vicariously through other people or it's constantly like um, it's tiring to constantly have to cater to other people and it's giving you a false sense of security all right a lot of revelations honestly will be coming in for you guys for this uh, week if not this month the moon is about revelation the high priestess is about accepting some of the truths and not really denying them anymore so I feel like a lot of culmination uh, information is coming into the picture for you to really take a good look at your life and figuring out what brings me emotional fulfillment and what do I need to do to pursue that on the um, work front 
I feel like we have here a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that's coming in and out of the picture in the work front. They could be a contractor. There might be issues with contractors and contracts. And if this is an employee of yours or an employee that is working with you, I feel like there's somebody new coming in and it's exciting. Um, but I'm also feeling like they're trying to shake things up, okay? Not entirely negatively, but I feel like it's really hindering your workflow. And I feel like you might not appreciate that too much, okay? So I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys. Um, I will be back next week and hopefully I can get the, the readings out. And then we'll see, you know, about September. I can't believe it's September already. We'll see about September and see which method works best, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.